Hello viewers, welcome to the CAP RMF training. My name is Lucky Igwe. Be sure to subscribe to my channel as we go into today's topic. Today, we'll continue on the NIST control family series and uh, we'll be looking at audit and accountability, AU control, audit and accountability. The audit and accountability control, you know, refers to the process of creating, protecting, retaining information system audit record for the process of monitoring, analyzing, and reporting on lawful, unauthorized, inappropriate activities. It's also the process of holding a user accountable for their action. Simply put, audit and accountability is the process of recording a user's accountability of, of reporting a user's activity and uh, reviewing the user's activity and holding the user accountable for their action. We'll be looking at some of the controls that falls under the AU control family. We'll be looking at the AU2 that talks about audit events. Audit events. This control actually addresses where auditable events that apply to a system, where do they come from? It talks about the system capability of auditing an agency or organization, you know, um, defined auditing event. The system capability of auditing an organization or agency defined auditing event. Now, I'll be looking at one or two evidence that we can use to satisfy the implementation of this control. We can request for an audit and accountability policies and procedure addressing the type of event that is audited and the security incident that is also audited. We'll be looking at the AU2 subset 3 that talks about audit events and reviews, audit events, reviews and updates. This talks about how often are audit logs reviewed. Most agencies or organizations have defined time period that they review their audit logs. Some of them review it every week, some of them review monthly, some of them review quarterly. So that is what the control is addressing. How often are audit logs reviewed? And we can request for an audit log review record, record of an audit log review to satisfy the control implementation. We will also be looking at AU3, which talks about content of audit record. Content of audit record. This talks about the minimum audit record setting. How is the audit record you know, set? Is it set to capture what events occurred? How did the events occur? How, where did the events occur? And when did the events occur? So this is what the control is addressing, the record setting and what the record is set to capture. What, when, how, where, you know. So, but the, we are, now we're going to look at the evidence, you know, to satisfy this control. To satisfy this control, we can request for a screenshot of an audit log from the OS, the operating system, the application, the database showing what type of event occurred, when did the event occur, where did the event occur, the outcome of the event, was it successful, did it fail, and the identify user identified, the identify user associated with the event. We'll also be looking at the audit storage capacity, which is AU4. The audit storage capacity is the AU4 control. Now, the audit storage capacity addresses the allocated audit storage capacity for the system component. What is the allocated space that is, you know, set, you know, for the allocated audit, audit space, you know, capacity for the system component? Now, it also addresses how is system configured? 
to reduce the likelihood of the allocated audit story capacity from it being exceeded. You know, how is the system config configuration settings of the system to reduce the likelihood of the audit storage capacity from it being exceeded? Now, what are the evidence? What kind of evidence can we request for to satisfy the implementation of the AU4 control? We can request for screenshots of the operating system application database, you know, showing how audit logs are being sent to the same tool in near real time. So that's one of the evidence that we can request for to satisfy the implementation of AU4 control. Please bear in mind, there are lots of evidence that can be requested to satisfy each of these controls that I, have, that I spoke of today or that I've identified today. And also, I would like to add that every agency implements their control in a different way. So, your evidence may differ from each other. So it does not mean that it has to be all it has to be this evidence that I stated today. No. You can request for more supporting evidence, you can request for different evidence based on the control implementation or based on the control implementation statement that has been documented in your system security plan. I hope this video is helpful. Please be sure to like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.